Hi ninjas, and welcome to another visual guide of Sekiro. After defeating the armored warrior at the Senpo Temple, or Snake Eyes Shirafuji in the Sunken Valley, you will encounter a monstrous humanoid resembling creature on their force, wielding huge claw weapons in their hands. In the Senpo Temple this can be avoided and actually missed pretty easily, but in the Gunfort this is a mandatory fight. In the Senpo Temple you find them in the small temple on the right after descending down from the temple grounds idol, but in the Gunfort this comes just as you progress the game naturally. This creature is the long armed Centipede. This fight is very straightforward and simple. The long armed centipede rushes towards you, and when it's next to you, it lifts its right arm slowly and immediately starts a very fast rush of first 4 attacks, then a half a second break, continuing with a 5 attack rush and immediately after, a single strong attack. A single attack deals low damage, but if all of them hit you, they will most likely kill you. A full combo of all 10 attacks doesn't completely kill your posture bar, but will be very close, so be sure to deflect all of them. If you can't manage to deflect the last attack of the full combo, he'll immediately begin the same attack rush right next to you. But if you instead do manage to deflect it, the long arm centipede will take distance by jumping back and then charge back with a perilous sweep attack. As per usual, jump straight up and stomp on him to deal posture damage. As you deal the first death blow, the long arm centipede will however instead start his attack rush much faster with his left arm, attacking only 3 times and immediately after them using the perilous sweep attack. Now let's look at some tactics and tips. There really isn't much for this fight than deflecting, but if the attacker then breaks at some point or is hard to catch up, this fight can end up very easily to your death, since as long as you keep deflecting the attacks, your posture won't break and you won't stagger, but should you only block the attack when the bar is full, you do stagger and depending on when during the attack rush this happens, can determine if you die or not. But there isn't really much other than to simply deflect the attack rush and then stomp on him as the long arm centipede tries to use the sweep attack. If you have the ascending carp, descending carp and the flowing water skills from the Ashina skill tree, this fight will be much easier as you deal a lot more posture damage to the long arm centipede and also take a lot less posture damage. And if you want to stay even more safer, use a Gokan sugar before the fight that lessens posture damage received by almost fourfold. Now I will cover the different versions of the long arm centipede fights. First up is Giraffe in the gun form. There is nothing really else to notice than that the room is very small and narrow, so be sure not to get cornered by Giraffe when he does the attack rush. After the fight you are rewarded with a prayer bead, and in the altar in front of you is the large fan prosthetic tool, which when used once, charges up the tool, and in the second use launches a small area of effect attack around you that turns normal enemies to face their backs at you so you can death blow them. But if you use these attacks on monks, they will be spirited away, meaning they are insta-killed. Afterwards there is a small hole on the floor on the left, which leads you to a cavern. Turn right on the crossroads while crouching as you drop on the hole, and then left when you reach the next crossing. After that you should arrive to an open area with a bottomless hole in front of you. Look to your right and up to see a grappling point and grapple up. If you go to the left, you will find a room with lizards and after killing them a divine confetti, but if you instead go to the right and head downwards, you find a room with smaller centipede enemies and lizards, which after killing them give you a prayer bead. Now we'll cover the same fight at the Senpo Temple. Depending on whether you come from the roof or from the door, you still appear to the boss room on the beams. On the beams are smaller centipede enemies who throw fiery projectiles at you, but luckily these enemies can be insta-killed by simply jumping towards them, which gives out a death blow even if they are aware of you. Kill all the small ones on the beams, use a Gokan Sugar at this point if you want to, and first death blow Sen Un. Now proceed to death blow the small one and then finish the fight with Sen Un. Note that if Sen Un sees you and you escape up on the beams, he will throw the same fiery projectiles at you, so be wary of them. And with that we will wrap up with the video. There is only a little to go until you reach the main building and the summit of the Senpo Temple and the last boss of the area, but that we will cover up next time. I hope this video was of help, leave a like if it was, subscribe for more, and if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, stay vigilant, and I'll see you next time. Fight, fight, fight,